What's going on with ya? What's going on with ya? <clears throat> yes, please, everybody that's coming on in, make sure you click the like button. You guys, make sure you hit that like, tap that like button. And also, make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And share, please, please share my live to your social networking chat social networking platforms like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. <laughs> How y'all doing, ladies? Y'all ready for the weekend? Oh, I am so ready for the weekend. Did you guys get to watch the last episode of Empire? It was good. <laughs> I want to take another poll, too. After the episode of Empire last night. Now, who do you believe is in that casket? I want to take a poll. Well, I've been getting a lot of answers. Ever since the beginning of this season, we've been getting a lot of answers. It might be Lucius. Um, it might be Cookie. Some people said it might be Hakeem, uh, Jamal's boyfriend, Kai, uh, Jeff Kingsley, um, Lucia's mother, since she's old and senile, getting up there in age. Uh, who do y'all think is in that casket? Oh, you don't watch Empire? That's okay. That's okay. I appreciate your support. I appreciate your support. I still believe, um, I still believe I had two guesses and one of the guesses for who's in that casket is Jeff. I've been sticking with him for a minute. And also I had said Lucius's ma, but we really hasn't been, she, she has yet to be like on the scene yet. So, I'm going to have to scratch her out of there. Uh, I think I think the person in that casket, and y'all let me know what y'all think, but I think the person in that casket now is either Jeff, I'm still going with Jeff, or his mother, who has been sick. Um, it looks like she's, in a, she's either in a coma, an induced coma, or she's just really sick or I, I don't know what's going on with her. I, we just know that she's sitting up in the hospital bed. Looks like she's in a nursing home or a hospital. Uh, so I don't know, but that's who I'm thinking. But anywho, anywho, I'm going to get started with the review. Everybody else who's coming in, they can just come on in. Um, <clears throat> oh, you said you're still working too? Oh, you're at work? <laughs> Sneaking on the computer at work? <laughs> <laughs> but um so, yeah, let's get started um <clears throat> so at the beginning of this in episode hey tiny girl on uh instagram i'm just about to get started on a uh review of empire the last episode that came on yesterday and I'm also on YouTube as well. So please, please, please do go to YouTube if you are, right, are not already subscribed to me on YouTube under Tanya Knows No Limit. And then my other channel is called Tanya's Primetime TV slash Media Reviews. And everybody on uh, YouTube, make sure you also follow me on Instagram at Tanya Primetime TV. All one word. All one word. But anywho, okay. Let's get started. Um, at the beginning of this episode, uh, we started off, and it kind of like, I guess it was about four months from now. So they showed us like a the a, a glimpse of the future, four months in the future. Um, and Cookie, she uh was running into the kitchen. You know, this basically the scene that we saw at the very beginning of the season when Lucius had blood all over him and he had took his shirt off and he was trying to rinse it out in the sink. Um, Cookie was running up in the kitchen, you know, to inform Lucius that somebody is still in surgery. 
um, because she had the phone in her hand and she had got some news or something that somebody's in surgery, only to find Lucius in the kitchen rinsing blood from his shirt down the sink. And of course, you know, she started panicking. Lucius, what did you do? What the heck did you do? I, I'm I'm assuming that Cookie thinks that she that he probably done killed somebody. That he probably done 187 somebody. But anywho, we shall see. And then after that, they flash back to the present time. And Lucius is in bed lounging around and Cookie is on the phone, you know, trying to get in contact with her sister Candace, who she fell out with. Um, last episode, because of her son, you know, the one that tried to kill Candace, tried to choke the you-know-what out of Candace, um, she's on the phone leaving her a message, pleading with her to call her, um, you know, give her a call, and Lucius is trying to calm her down, you know, telling her, you know what, just, just leave it alone, just, you're doing too much, you know, just give her room, I think she also needs to give her room as well, but, you know, how, you know, how siblings are, but anywho, um, I'm actually still tripping on the way that Candace actually behaved and how she reacted to that whole situation regarding her nephew. She had got like really, really pissed when Cookie had called the cops on her nephew. But I mean, he had he basically had whooped all they tails. He whooped all they tails. Like was beating on them like they was grown men. And then, you know, before the cops came, he was up there choking his mom. He had her up off the ground, just strangling her, choking her. And the cops came in finally and tased his butt. He fell out all on the floor. And Candace got pissed off and told Cookie, you know what? From here on out, you ain't my sister. You done got my son locked up. Um, but still, she saved her life. <laughs> Candace could be dead right now. So <laughs> I really think she overreacted. But anywho, um, did she just suspect Cookie? I don't know if she just suspected Cookie to just watch and wait for him to kill his mom. And then turn on her and his sister again. You know, he already beat them, had them laying all out on the floor. But anyway, <laughs> um, one thing that I heard somebody say, I can't even remember where I saw this or heard this. But anywho, Vivica Fox, um, her face. Have y'all really been paying attention to her face on the show? Like, I know that they had to put makeup on her uh, to make it look like she seriously got beat up, you know, by her son. Uh, but her face, it looks all, I don't know, swole up. Like, even before them scenes, like, it was all flowed up. And somebody said that she either had too much um, surgery done or either a botched up surgery. So, I don't know. I don't know. These celebrities and their surgeries, though. But she, I, I don't know what was up to that. But anywho, anywho. Um, as far as Jamal and Kai, I uh, remember when they had the interview, uh, Jamal had just, um, sung a song. I think it was a single or something. And I mean, Kai, well, actually he was having an interview and I almost thought that Kai was cheating on Jamal at first because when Jamal was trying to say, they was asking him, you know, what's up with you? You know, what's been going on? What's, what's up with your uh, love life and all that? And he had told him, you know, I'm in a relationship. I'm really happy. I'm engaged. And they were like, oh, well, tell your fiance, you know, hey, or whatever. And he's like, oh, he's right there. <laughs> he's right there. And the look on Kai's face, I was like, oh, my God, is Kai trying to stay low key? Like, f like, I thought they were like all open and, I, you know, the way they act and, you know, but anywho, um. I was like, man, if he's cheating on him, Jamal should have just left his butt on over there with them kidnappers where they had his tail <laughs> instead of looking all over for him. But then he explained to him, you know, um, after the interview and everything, he explained to him, you know, it's taken me like 10 years. I've been working 10 years to try to prove to everybody that I am a serious um, journalist. And he also told them ever since that he told, you know, publicly made that announcement that they were engaged, that he has lost some leads for work. And I'm up here like, OK, you already you, you open gay man. You're out the closet. I want to make sure I say the, the words right. I don't want to offend any, you know, body in that community. But um, he's he's like out the closet gay. 
and they're engaged. I mean, they propose to each other. Their families know about each other. Their friends know about each other. So, like, what's the problem? Like, you have to pr still protect your image at work. Um, you work 10 years to prove yourself as a serious journalist. You know, I, I don't know. I, I just think maybe, you know, since he lost some leads, maybe he needs to try to find some new leads for a new journalism gig. I don't know. What's, what was y'all take on that whole scene right there? Um, I just feel like if you got to hide the fact that you're gay, I done worked at many jobs, many jobs, um, some low end, some high end, you know, some for not as much as I wanted to make, some for a lot of money, you know, and I done seen a lot of gay people walk around walk around work like hey i'm gay you know <laughs> like it's no big deal but anyway i don't know what was y'all take on that but um and then and then they showed like okay remember the painting that lucius had lost you know when he was gambling they actually showed like when he had purchased that paint that um very expensive artwork for cookie um, I'm surprised, like, she couldn't tell, though, like, okay, when he flashed to the end, like, towards the end of the show, when he was ripping that, you know, that artwork to pieces, I'm surprised that she didn't realize that it was a fake, because of the fact that she's so in love with that artist and has been wanting that artwork for a very long time. But anyway, they showed where he had purchased it, and she was like, you know, how'd you get the money? We couldn't even afford this painting and everything. And during that time, I mean, keep in mind, they still trying to pay bills. They still trying to just get by. They don't really have any artists making any money right now. And then all this back and forth with Jeff, Jeff Kingsley, they don't really have no money, so I'm not even going to... I, I'm not even going to try to guess how he was able to afford that painting. <laughs> but, um, Jeff, Jeff Kingsley. Um, I think Jeff's a narc. I've been lately trying to understand what a narcissist is and how they think and how they move. And I think Jeff is a big time narc. Um, he didn't really like went over the deep end. <laughs> His ego is way bigger than it should be. And now anybody who doesn't like back him on, you know, what he believes or what he says, as far as, you know, his employees, if they don't go with the flow, now he just, he firing them left and right, like on the spot, no warning. And when he fired that man, it was like he was teasing him or, you know, joking around. Um, how's your kids? Do they like to travel and all this? Oh, well, it's going to be pretty hard for you to take them to Disneyland when you ain't got no job. And the dude was looking like, what the, what the hell you mean? You're fired. I was like, oh, my God, what is wrong? And then Giselle, she's just sitting there like, what the hell? And Becky, she was fuming. I thought for a second Becky was about to walk out of there. Did y'all think that too? I mean, she was looking mad. She had her jaws all tight and stuff like she was about to swell up on Jeff. <laughs> I just knew she was about to get up out of there. But anywho, she, she works for Jeff now. But I'm still glad that she felt the need to um go to Lucius. You know, she still feels like she owes it to the Lions, you know, to let them in on that little tea that she found out. Um, because she did start with the Lions. You know, she worked with them for a long time. And because of working with them, you know, she basically knows her way around the office and knows how to find artists and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, Giselle. First, her investigator had found out about, you know, Jeff and his mom. And then come to find out, she finds out that his mother had a relationship with Lucius. Now, I still don't know. And y'all let me know what y'all think. But we know that she had a relationship with Lucius. And obviously... Obviously, from what they're making, it seem like she got hooked on drugs that Lucius was probably selling. I don't know if he was selling her the drugs and maybe she owed him money. I, I would hate to say Lucius was making women pay him back with sex. 
I would hate to, but you know, it, it happens all the time. You owe some money. You want to get, you know, uh, get some drugs and you broke. You know how they do. Or was it that he really had a relationship with her and she just somehow got addicted to drugs and he still provided them to her, even though they had an actual relationship outside of cookie of course <laughs> so they really haven't got gave us all the 411 on that but again y'all let me know what y'all think about that but anywho she finally finds out find out that jeff is the son of lucius and at first i thought i assumed that she was going to bring that information to lucius but she didn't <laughs> she didn't bring that information to him at all but um Oh, I'm just looking at the comments, making sure I'm not missing any comments. But anywho, anywho, um, what do y'all think about the scene with Hakeem and Blaze? Like, in real life, in real life, stupid, you know, social media beefs, like what they going through right now, it's what really gets a lot of people really hurt in the real world. Um, I don't really know... Um, if the producers is keep keeps on dragging us out for a purpose or if they just need like a storyline for Blaze, I, I don't know. But it kind of got me thinking, like, I don't know if any of y'all can remember, but there was an incident with Nicki Minaj and some guy had wrote a blog about her or either on his YouTube or Instagram, something and he was critical he was uh he was criticizing her i think it was her music or something like that i cannot remember his name for the life of me i tried to look it up today but anyway anyway she had got upset and all her barbs had got upset and they all was like flooding his uh social media they was flooding like all of his social media and then um they was like making threats to him I mean, like, real threats. He had to, like, go to the police and get a lawyer and all this if, you know, somebody would try to contact him or try to hurt him. So, anyway, you know, that stuff with people, uh, because the thing is, it wasn't actually Blake who was making those threats to Jamal, to uh, Hakeem's son and his daughter but it was blaze's fans who was making those threats but that stuff really happens in real life and you know some of these fans out here i don't know i mean they go hard in the paint <laughs> they go hard in the paint for some of their favorite celebrities so i don't know if that's why they have this if they keep why they keep dragging this scene out or not or again if they just need a storyline for that blaze but anywho anywho even if you know nikki was to tell them to back off some of them fans out there you know they be willing to do whatever for the sake of their favorite celebrities but anywho um pound cake's daughter maya where she come from <laughs> I was so shocked to see her. She just like showed up out of the blue at Cookie's house. And then she tells Cookie, you know what? I broke up with my boyfriend. And I guess she expected Cookie to be, up, be you know, all happy. You know, happy-go-lucky about it. But Cookie was sitting there pissed. She's up there, you know, drinking her coffee, whatever, not even looking at her. Because, like, Cookie has been trying so hard to get this girl to do right. And, you know, to... uh Basically, she promised her mother, Pound Cake, that she would take after her and she would take care of her and watch after her. And that's all she'd been trying to do. And then she like went off on Cookie when she was trying to do just that. So Cookie's like, huh, what you want, child? What you want? Okay, so you broke up with your boyfriend and <laughs> and but she told her she was like, you know, I just I just need, you know, a place to stay. And that's when Cookie was like, Well, what's up with your parents? Why you can't go to your parents' house? Uh, they ain't seeing eye to eye right now. Probably got something to do with that crazy boyfriend she had. Probably. But anywho, um, Cookie eventually, you know, tells her she can stay there, but she has to get a job. And kudos to Cookie. Kudos to anybody who lets their uh, you know, somebody else's child move in with them. <laughs> I remember one time I had somebody's child try to move in with us. And it was a friend of my son's. 
I love that child. I do. I, I actually call him my son. He calls me mom. Matter of fact, a lot of their friends call me mom, you know, because most of them been knowing us since we were younger and they all went to school together, grew up together, played sports together, you know, yada, yada, yada. So, um, but still, when I was asked, hey, mom, can I move in? Uh, what's up with you and your parents? What's going on with you and your parents? <laughs> Where they at? But um, I guess it was that same situation. They not seeing eye to eye. But see me, I, I, this is the, the, the type of person I am. Uh, you need to go home. Nope, you need to go home. You need to find your way back to your house, make up with your parents, kiss their butt, whatever you need to do. Because as far as I'm concerned, when it comes to children, especially when they're around that age of 17 to like 25-ish, I mean, if they ain't going to do what their parents say, if they not going to come home when their parents say come home, if they're not going to clean their rooms and do their chores, if they're not going to obey their parents, how long do you think they're going to mind you? And you ain't they real mom. Not saying that that would have happened, but that's how it normally goes. And I'm not trying to be falling out with my son's best friends and all that kind of stuff. So I'm like, no, 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 honey. Go on back home. <laughs> Go on back home. Now, I'd be different if he didn't have parents. You know, it'd be a different situation like that. But when you got parents, and I know your parents, like, I know your parents really well. <laughs> then no you need to take your butt on back home <laughs> for real but anywho she ended up letting her stay there but you know she don't have a job so she gotta pay her own way so what does cookie do until you get a job i'm gonna make you run errands every errand that she can think of she got her running errands ripping and running the streets and she don't have a car so she's catching the bus <laughs> got her catching the bus she's like the bus yep it runs till one o'clock a.m in the morning I'm like, dang. But then again, they is like, you know, in New York or, you know. So, yeah, I can imagine the buses probably run really late there. But um, Kingsley, Kingsley, this man, oh, God. Ugh, he just gets on my everlasting nerves, my everlasting nerves. And is he trying to just keep a brother down or what? I mean, how much damage is he trying to do to Lucius? I mean, he got his foot on their neck so hard, but not for long. Because again, thirsty, good old thirsty, always coming through in the clutch. Um, But Becky... Becky was the one that actually managed to pull it off, you know, to get all to help them get all the tea on Kingsley and Empire for them to find out what Kingsley is really up to. Because they're like, how is he going to make money if he's going to take all our music off the shelf all the way back to the very beginning? And I'm up there, too. Like, that don't make sense. Why? When they music is still bringing in money, what is the end game here but anywho they found out thanks to becky and thirsty they found out that kingsley is selling okay they the empire extreme app <laughs> they done sold it i guess all the music is on there and they done sold it all to law enforcement and basically what law enforcement is going to do all the people who has that app on the on their phone Law enforcement somehow is going to be able to listen to all the conversations from anybody who uses a particular phone that has the app on it. And I'm like, I wonder how much he sold that for. Like, how much money? He got to be making a lot of money off of that, you know, from the popos. But anywho, I will, that's, I mean, I, I wonder how other people thought of something like that before. <laughs> But um, Cookie, she was, you know, what Cookie was saying was a lot of sense. As far as, you know, they kept going back and forth with Jeff. And, you know, they showed the scene where where Lucius was like, we didn't went to court two, three times. And we keep losing to this man. And Cookie was like, you know what? 
you know what? Sometimes you just got to take the loss. Just charge it to the game. We can just start all over, you know, start from the bottom like they did before. But Lucius was also making a point like, we made all these hit songs, all these hit records. You done sacrificed 17 years of your life so that Lucius could freely build that empire. So I wouldn't want to go down without a fight either. That's what he's trying to say. But now the stakes are even bigger because if they don't stop Jeff, the Lions will probably never be able to have fans that will ever trust them again once they realize, you know, police, they have, like, access to listen to their conversations. Imagine how many people out there doing stuff illegal and, okay, granted, you probably shouldn't talk about illegal stuff over the phone, <laughs> but we do have a lot of stupid criminals out there. <laughs> A lot of them. They get caught every day. <laughs> but then um, that guy, that cookie met at the bar. Like, I can't remember his name. I can't remember his name, but I do know he played, you know, in the uh, wire. But that's the guy who got the doggone picture. Like, okay, when they was in the, when they was in the um, elevator. I don't know why, but I thought at first, just he just, I don't know. I still think of him from the wire, like all gangster and evil and murderer and, you know, all that kind of stuff. But anyway, uh, when they was in the elevator, uh, I thought maybe he was going to attack Cookie or maybe he was going to threaten Cookie, you know. But instead, he's up in there having a panic attack and uh, showing her pictures of his daughter. And I'm like, is this like a front is he like faking all i mean it looked kind of real like he was really having you know a panic attack when the elevator had got stuck but um when he gave her that look like something about that look he gave her when he got off the elevator when she was telling him you know sometimes my husband can be a son of a bitch his face was just giving me something suspect did y'all catch that and then I'm like, okay. And so then back to when Lucius, the, the painting. And then remember the scene where he was sitting under the painting? The black dude, I can't remember his name. But he was sitting under the painting. It looked like he was in you know the comfort of his own home. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I still need some answers. I still need some answers. Because this show is going from like two years ago to four months in the future to a year and a half ago to... Two months in the future, to it just kept going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And I was trying my best to keep up, y'all. I was trying my best. But anywho, um, then we go to Cookie. And she's sitting in the kitchen. She got the heat turned down. They in New York. <laughs> New York. They got the heat turned down. And she had the door open. And Lucius come in like, Cookie, what you doing? You tripping. It's cold in here. It's freezing. She's up there freezing, sitting at the uh, kitchen table, <laughs> trying to budget, you know, the money for the show and everything, <laughs> for the showcase. And he comes in and shut the door. And why do y'all think that she really didn't tell Lucius about her home? You know, the home that she has sitting empty in Soho? That's worth, I think they said it was worth like $4 million. Like she got Lucius up here. Okay, for one, the painting, he had lost the painting. Then he had went and bought a fake. Then he's up here mortgaging the house to help her with the showcase, you know, to cover the overage charges. And she's just sitting there like, are you sure you really want to do that? Are you sure you really want to do that? And she still did not tell him. I mean, the excuse that she gave him, you know, it, it just, it didn't sit right. She talking about she was trying to protect herself from him. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't get it. I don't, I think she really messed up and I think she should have told him about that house. I mean, they over there, they was like broke. They, they losing all their furniture. I mean, <laughs> no cable. <laughs> No Wi-Fi. They didn't have a whole bunch of stuff for a minute till they started, you know, working with their artists and everything. So I don't know. Anywho, I don't know. We shall see. But her sister, Candace, I really think she just needs to give her some space, like Lucia said, because she's still insisting that Cookie was wrong for calling the cops on her son. And I'm like, girl, 
okay, your son is strapped up in a hospital bed. He got some crazy meds in his arm, but you are still alive. He was choking the dog mess out of you. Like choking the dog mess out of you. And yeah, you know what? what he, that's his name. That's his name. It's all. Thank you. Hey, honey. Thanks for uh visiting us today and joining our live. Um, the Wood Harrison uh character, I I don't know. He's it's not like he's so so attractive. It's just something about him that I've always liked since he was on the wire. You know, I don't know. But anywho, uh she kept saying the Soho condo was her safety net, but at first she was saying that, you know, when her sister, okay, before they got back together, she had bought that because she thought Lucia was going to leave her for that other woman, remember? But then they got engaged, then they got married, and then they trying to build empire back from the ground up, and I don't know. I don't know. She, I, I don't know. Mm -mm -mm. thank you that house was burning up they were standing there sweating the house was probably like 115 degrees that big old mansion <laughs> ain't no way to cool that mansion down in the summertime in that heat but yeah so i i don't know i don't know but he was pissed off when he found out he was pissed off when she found out. But anywho, you know, her son was like choking the mess out of her and had been beating her, beating on her for some time now. And I still see it's still some things left to be answered. Like, for instance, remember when the dad, when Candace's husband that she's divorcing, remember when he came over to Cookies in the house and he didn't have his key? And he needed to borrow one of their keys to get into the house to get his stuff. And the son was up there. I don't want him in the house. I don't want him in the house. Mom, we got to go. We got to hurry up and get home. All our stuff is there. I still don't understand why the son was acting like that. Because the dad just wanted to bring, you know, just wanted to get in the house to take his stuff out. So, you know, I don't know. There's still some things left unanswered for me, that is. But if y'all got the answers, please let me know, honey. Please let me know. But um, the look on Jeff's face when he walked into his mother's room, y'all. <laughs> and he saw Gazelle sitting there on that book. <laughs> She was sitting right next to the bed like she was up there like reading to his mama or saying a prayer or something. <laughs> I'm like, how'd she even get in there? What? How'd she even get in there? But anywho, um, she starts showing him pics, you know. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Ain't that you? That's your mama, right? Is that your daddy? <laughs> Is that your daddy? <laughs> And then when he tried to uh when he tried to look at um his mom, you know, when he had looked over at his mom, he like looked over at his mom. She's like, What you looking at? What you looking at mom dudes for? She can't hear shit. <laughs> she can't hear us. She can't help you. But um she she said she was there to talk to him about, you know, his presence and her future. So I don't know. I'm assuming the reason why she didn't show Lucius this information yet was because she has something else up her sleeves that's definitely not going to benefit Lucius. That's that's what I'm thinking. I don't know what it is yet, but she got something up her sleeve. I don't know if she's trying to be trying to take more control over Empire because he already gave her a promotion. So I don't know. I don't know. We shall see. We shall see. But, uh, yeah, he was pretty shocked to find her sitting there. And, um, Lucia, back to Cookie. Her, oh, yeah, she did say checkmate. <laughs> yeah, she threw her under the bus. She threw her straight under the bus. She was like, oh, okay, you try to ruin my life. I'm going to ruin yours, too. And Lucius was mad. Now, I do think Lucius probably exaggerated. He was like, you know, we ain't supposed to lie to each other. We ain't supposed to do this. But did he not just get rid of her picture and buy her a fake? I mean, okay. I don't know if that was worth more than the condo. Because that picture, I know, is pricey. I don't know how much the doggone picture was worth. I can't remember. I think it was like $2 million or... 
I can't remember how much that picture was worth. But anyway, I know the condo was worth $4 million. But um, her sister, Candace, she's a dirty, revengeful heifer. <laughs> a dirty, revengeful heifer. I mean, she just told her, told Lucius of her secret. Like, again, she just saved her life. She just saved her life. <sighs> Cookie should have just left her there to defend herself. Shoot, maybe once her son showed her in and out of her life's existence a couple of times, maybe she would have been a little bit more appreciative. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Just left her there. I mean, the, the look in his eyes when he was choking her, like, ah, 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 ah. I was like, oh my God, he is going to kill her. He's going to kill her. But anyway, <laughs> but anyway, um, up until this moment, y'all, up until this episode, I asked at the beginning of the live, like, who do y'all think is in that casket? At first, for the longest, I kept saying Lucius, Ma, because of the fact, you know, she's getting up there in age. And I just assume, I, I actually assume she was going to have a bigger part in this season. But we really haven't seen her since, like, I can't remember the last time we seen her. So I'm going to throw her out. Uh, and then the other person I said was Jeff, Jeff Kingsley. So, y'all need to tell me who y'all think. Um, now that I threw Lucia's mom out, I'm going to say either Jeff or either his mom. I don't know. That's the two people I'm going to go with. Yeah, he would have killed her for sure. He's crazy. And she's up there. My son is up there on medicine. And he can't even recognize my voice. And he can't talk to me. And he can't and he can't kill you either, sis. <laughs> he can't kill you either. He can't heal. You need to come on now. If your son needs help, if you cannot fend for yourself, if you cannot protect yourself, you cannot manage his behavior. I mean, people go through this in real life real life they sitting at home getting beat on by their sons and daughters i wish i would i wish i would <laughs> hell no <laughs> hell no but yeah i was thinking kingsley's mom is probably in that casket too miss hawk and you know why because for one I, I, like I said, I don't know if she's in a coma or an induced coma. I don't know what's going on with that woman. She's just laid up in the bed. I don't know if she overdosed on drugs. Did I miss something over the last few episodes? All I remember is him going to visit her, him taking flowers, him talking to her. I mean, and she just laying there. So I don't know if I missed something. Y'all fill me in if I missed something. But up until this very episode, again, I've been stuck on, you know, two guesses, either Jeff or Lucia's mom. But now after, after the episode with the gun scene at the end, I don't even want to imagine it being Hakeem's beautiful little girl, Bella, in that casket. And I have said in a group, there's a group that I'm in called Empire. Excuse me, let me get a drink real quick. <clears throat> there's a group that I'm in, an Empire Facebook group I'm in. And um, I was telling them, I'm like, okay, they show Lucius at the beginning of the show, at the beginning of the season, um, standing next to that casket. And he was like tapping on it or patting on the casket or rubbing the casket, something like that. And so it was kind of making me think that it's, pro it's most likely somebody close to him. Uh, but the casket didn't seem like a child casket. I may Maybe I need to go back and rewind and look at the scene again. But I could have sworn it was like a full casket, like for a grown up. So I want to want to hope, want to guess that it wasn't, you know, the little girl. Even though she had the gun like this, you know, was playing with it and it went under her chin and she's up there playing with it. I'm I'm going to I'm going to hope I'm, I don't think it's the little girl. I just don't. <clears throat> and um, also when uh, you OK, remember at the beginning of the episode when Cookie had ran into the kitchen and she saw Lucy's rinsing that blood out of his shirt to the sink. Remember she ran in with the phone and she said, he's still in surgery. 
So it's a he. I'm believing. So, based off of what Cookie was saying on the phone to Lucius, when she was shocked, when she was panicking, when she saw all the blood and asked him what the hell he done done, um, and she said, he's still in surgery. And I rewinded it several times to make sure she didn't say a name or something like that. But that's all she gives, that little hint that he's still in surgery. So I'm kind of wondering now, kind of wondering now if maybe Jamal, I mean, Hakeem got hit or God forbid his son, you know, the son that was in the stroller. Because that was the only two he's in there besides Lucius, right? And if it wasn't one of them, if the little girl didn't hit didn't hit anybody and they probably got the gun away from her, then I'ma still say I'ma say is Jeff or either uh, I'm confused too, Miss Hog. <laughs> I mean, these producers, they, boy, they putting us through it this season. I'm telling you, I'm up here like, okay, uh, I want to say Jeff. I still think Jeff, um, because they said it was a he. Oh, 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 I know who else I was going to say. Um, Kai, because remember when, um, Lucius asked Kai to do some investigation, you know, so they can get, um, what they need for uh, Kingsley. And Jamal kept saying, no, 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 Kai, I don't think you should do this. I don't think you should get involved. But Kai, since he just lost two leads after Jamal, you know, had announced that they're engaged and he's gay and he lost the two leads, he kind of wanted to jump on that because that would be a huge story if he was to get that information out there about the app that, you know, uh, Kingsley was selling or, you know, to the law enforcement. So I wonder if it might be Kai because somebody caught him doing something like researching or revenge, you know? So I'm going to say Jeff or Kai. That's what I'm going to say. So y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know if y'all agree with me, Jeff or Kai, or if y'all think it's somebody else. <laughs> let me know let me know but i definitely don't believe bella shot anybody i think the gun i think maybe the gun was on safety or either there was no bullets in it or they just got it away from her but i don't think that she shot anybody so anywho again y'all let me know what y'all think and let me know what y'all thought about this whole episode period like period i mean it was all over this year, next year, last year, six months from now, <laughs> I'm like trying to keep up like, oh, God. <laughs> you said Jamal knew his dad. Yeah, he knew his, He knew Lucius was using Kai. He was using him to his benefit. And not only do Kai probably feel obligated because that's his fiance's uh, dad, and he knows that what they're doing is wrong. And then Lucia was trying to rub it in like, you know, our customers, our fans, you know, they won't trust us anymore. And, you know, all this. So, yeah, Jamal, I think Kai, it was kind of like killing two birds with one stone for him. You know, he would just make it. This would be a great story for him. Put him on the front street and maybe all those leads that he lost because, you know, he thinks that maybe it was because he was outed to the public. Um, maybe it would help him, you know, get more leads or get more work, more stories. I don't know. I don't know. But that's who I believe it is. That's who I believe it is. Either Kai or Jeff Kingsley. And then did y'all see the previews when they were saying, Lucius, that's your son. I was like, oh my God, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. <laughs> It was too much back and forth. I watched it twice. I watched the show twice. I ain't gonna lie. I watched it twice. And I kept rewinding, like, at the beginning of the episode, when it first started off, I was like, didn't they say it was four months from now? And so I kept going back to the beginning of the episode to see what how many months it was. And it didn't say it, but it was, like, at the middle of the scene when Lucius was cleaning off his shirt. It was saying four months from now then. So I was like, oh, God. It was a lot. <laughs> it was a lot. Oh, Miss Lady Scoop, it's good. So you never watched it before, Miss Lady Scoop? Like, never? 
Because this is season five. You would literally have to start all the way from the beginning. But hey, find you a good um a weekend or something where you off of work. And binge watch, get you some, girl, you're going to need you some champagne, some wine, some something, some snacks, <laughs> some snacks, something, because it's good. It's good. Yes, we'll find out next week. We show sure will. But um, yes, Miss Lady Scoop, if you do binge watch that, let me know. <laughs> let me know. But um, I'm going to go ahead and get off this uh, live. I thank everybody for showing up and joining me on the live today. Um, I'll be back tomorrow because, uh, Love and Hip Hop New York just started. So I think the first episode was, what's today? Thursday. I think Love and Hip Hop New York started yesterday, I think. So I didn't watch it because I was watching, um, watching Empire and Star. So I think I'm going to do Love and Hip Hop tomorrow and then I'm going to do Star Saturday. But y'all know... I have started my monthly reviews. Um, it's called Sisters from Another Mister uh, Movie Reviews. And the first one we did was uh, a review. And it's my sister. She's my sister friend. We go way, 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 way back. We basically family, you know. Um, and uh, again, it's called Sisters from Another Mister Movie Reviews. And our first one we did was last month. And it was on a new movie, Halloween. Uh, so y'all make sure y'all check that out if y'all haven't, but we're going to do a review on, uh, uh, widows. So I think I had told you guys probably what day did I go see that movie? I think I told you guys Saturday, Saturday that I was going to give y'all a week. <laughs> I was going to give y'all a week to go watch widows. I highly recommend it. I highly recommend it. If you haven't seen it, tomorrow's Friday. You can go see it Friday because I'm going to do the review approximately around like mm, probably, I don't know what time I'm going to do it Saturday. I don't know if I'll do it in the afternoon or if I'll do it in the evening, like around like 9 p.m. at night or something. I don't know. But anywho, I'll let y'all know tomorrow what time I'm going to do the uh, review of Widow's. Me and my sis, her name is Samantha. We call her Sam. Um, again, if you watched the Halloween review that we did last month, then that lady in that movie, that review with me, that is Sam, Samantha. So um, she'll be with me Saturday. And again, I'll let you know. I'll program the live so you guys will find know what time it is. Um, yep. Yep, I'm going to do it on this channel. The reason why I can't do lives on my other channel is because I did something that YouTube didn't like and they put me on punishment. <laughs> they put me on punishment. And this channel, I had created like, oh God, like 2015, like three years ago. And I just never used it. And so when I start doing reviews, I just created a whole new channel, a review channel, which was the ones I normally use. But then I did something YouTube didn't like. I posted something or a picture. I don't know. I don't know. I was trying to fight it, but hey, it's YouTube. Oh, well. So I was like, you know what? I got this other channel that's been sitting around for three years with no content on it. I think it had like two or three videos. Like there's a video there on here of my niece dancing. There's a video of on here of my line dance team because I'm on a line, a hip hop line dance team as well. Um. And it's called, actually, it's called uh, A Step Above the Rest Hip Hop Line Dancers from Omaha. But um, so I had like a few videos. So it was really no content on this channel. And then I just started using, I was like, okay, I'll just do my lives over here. And then I record them. So then I can post it on my Tanya's Primetime channel. So that's what I've been doing. Hate to confuse everybody. Yeah, it's good. I mean, I know pe some people got like 10, 5, 10 channels. I don't know why you need that many, but I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, I was like, shoot, they got, I already had a channel open, you know, and I had like, I didn't really have any um, subscribers over here. I think I only had like 20 or something subscribers. This channel just been sitting, just sitting for like three years. But anywho, yeah, so I'll be with you guys Saturday. Um, again, if you have not seen Widows, check it out tomorrow night. 
It's, it's really good. If you have nothing to do tomorrow night and you want to go see a good movie, it was really good, you guys. I mean, really good. Um, I thought about going to see it again, <laughs> but I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait till it come out and I'll buy it. But anywho, you guys, thanks for tuning in. Make sure everybody that came through the room, make sure you click the like button, tap that like button. And also, uh, please uh, subscribe if you're coming through and maybe I don't know you're in a room because you haven't commented. Please subscribe to my channel. Please, please. Thank you very kindly. And also, uh, make sure you guys share the channel, share the live to your uh, social media platforms. Thank you. I appreciate it so much. Thank you, guys. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful night. And have a wonderful Friday. And until we meet again tomorrow evening, in the meantime and in between time, remember, you guys, stay safe. Be blessed. Treat each other right. Do what you're supposed to do so you can continually stay blessed, especially during this holiday season. Practice patience and love and kindness. And I'm out.